Hey, how's it going, guys? It's me, Mike, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to make animated Ning headers, or this header can be basically for uh, MySpace and Ning, I guess. But um, this tutorial is going to be based on Ning. So uh, I made a, I already made this header right before this video. So all I'm going to do is animate it real quick. So if you don't know how to animate, go up right here where it says Window. Click on that. Click on Animation. And then you're gonna get this little frame counter right here. If you, if you don't get that, you'll probably get something like, uh, I don't know. Most likely, you're gonna get this with the frames. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna put about two frames. I'm gonna add like one more frame, so it's gonna be two. Select the first frame. And you wanna make sure if you make any changes to your Ning header or, you know, this background image or whatever, you wanna make sure it's done on the first header unless you want it to be done on another frame because if you do it on another frame and change something here you know everything is not going to be applied to the first one as well but you know whatever alright so I'm going to select frame 1 and uh, I want to animate something so I'm going to uh, make a new layer I'm going to call this layer stars so I don't forget what this layer is for I'm going to call it stars alright I'm going to go to my brushes and uh, I select a brush I have a bunch of brushes here but I'm going to try to load up a good decent brush for doing stars and stuff like that and just scroll all the way up here okay here's a good one right here now make sure my color is white so press the D or X key to change the uh, the color palette over here to white or black. All right, so I'm gonna change it over to white. I'm gonna uh, place a star right there. Oops, right there. Let's see, right there. Uh, right there. Right there. do now is duplicate that control J and what I'm gonna do is go to edit transform and flip it horizontal like that so basically it's gonna animate like this so um, select frame 2 and what I'm gonna do is turn off stars layer 1 and keep star the star layer copy um, visible so if you can see as you switch between layers it's gonna do that all right so keep it on frame one hit that tween animation frames right there um, I'm gonna tween it with the next five frames okay select frame seven select that tweening option again and I'm gonna change the settings up here where it says tween with and I'm gonna tween it with or you know animate it with the first ring press ok all right so now I'm gonna select uh, let me get out this brush area I'm um, gonna select frame 7 or you know that second frame I'm gonna put it to about 2 seconds I'm gonna select frame 1 and set it to about 2 seconds and I'm um, gonna leave it at that and uh, what you wanna do to save it you can save the PSD of it so save that's gonna save the PSD or just go to save as um, it's gonna be set to PSD already so just name it and then save it and uh, it's gonna be already saved, so don't worry about it. Um, so if you want to save the animation, go to File, Save for Web and Devices. All right. So wait for this to load up. It's gonna be set to Optimize. You don't want that. You want it to be original. So select Original. Um, you can. Uh, turn down um, resize it by going over here and selecting a good size for it all right that's for the preview anyway and then select the play button right here and as you can see that's what it's gonna do it's gonna do a light animation like that and if you like the way it's done everything is perfect just hit save it's gonna be set to gif you know a gif file and just name it and save it all right so after it saves 
you want to uh, upload it to an image hosting website I use photo bucket so just go to photo bucket upload images um, select wherever your images is held at so right now mine is set to my pictures so there it is right there it's actually 881 kilobytes so I don't know if that's gonna work properly on Ning usually it's around the 500 range or maybe 250 um, so let that load if it's too big then you might want to go back into Photoshop and uh, actually uh, let me see pretty much only thing you could do is pretty much uh, I don't know if it's too you know image size is too big you might wanna uh, let me see I don't know depending on your thing it might work it doesn't matter so after I finish uploading yeah anyway after it's finished uploading I just added a new group called Ning Customization on my website so just head over there um, select Ning Customization and uh, you should scroll down you're gonna see CSS code for Ning headers so you're gonna use this code to uh, um, apply your Ning header for anima an animation so just copy and paste this code right here just copy and paste and once you get your image code from Photobucket or whatever image hosting site you, you use um, you want to Let's say if you're using Photobucket, just get the direct image link or code. Copy that code. Go into Ning. And uh, let me just open up my other test Ning site, whatever that I use to upload my images sometimes. Um, go into your Ning manage area. If you're a Ning creator, go into appearances. And depending on whatever theme you want, you can select a certain theme. But this time, I'm just going to advance, uh, copy and paste the, the CSS code for the Ning headers. That will start with that right there. Just copy that and paste it in here into your advanced area. And right here where it says uh, top image uh, right there, you're going to copy and paste. I mean, not copy and paste, but paste in your your code for your CSS. I mean, your... Um, Ning header image, press save, and if everything goes right, your Ning image should appear right there doing its animation. So, as you can see, it's animating like that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is how to um, apply an animated um, Ning headers to your Ning site. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, peace.